materials you will need today are two colors of duct tape, an exacto knife, ruler, cutting surface, Ziploc cut to four inches, and a dot of Velcro. I'm gonna start by taking four pieces of four inch tape and spread apart the Ziploc. Put the piece of tape on top of the Ziploc, not touching the zip part. Then fold over the duct tape onto the back side of the Ziploc. Do that put to both pieces. Just to give you a heads up, this is kind of the part where I tried it three times. is take that piece of Ziploc and line up your other piece of tape and put the Ziploc on top of it to make it three inches tall. Do that to both. Once you're done with that, put the two pieces together end to end, not overlapping each other. Now take three pieces of tape that are four inches long and put it in the center and then cover up the rest of the sticky. Fold it in half and try to zip the zip lock together. Now take a piece of tape that is three inches long and cut it in half. Now close up the sides of the Ziploc pouch as I'm doing here. Take a piece of your print color that is three and one fourth inches long and your regular color that is three inches long and put them back to back to where there is one fourth inch sticky on the top. to fold that piece of sticky over and make three more of these so that you have four. Once you're done with that, fold them all in half where the print side, my owl side, is facing together. Now take a piece of your color and that is three inches long and cut it into fourths. Now take a piece of the fourths and place it half on the right side of the sheet we made. Do that to all of them where two it has a piece of tape on the right side and the other two have it on the left side. Now take your coin pouch and put the round edge of your expandable, which is the sheet we made, to the top of the coin pouch and place them all on as shown how I'm doing right now. Sorry for the, I'm not 
as great as explaining. So now here I froze it so that I can tell you how I did this. I took three pieces of tape that was nine and a half inches long and stacked them up to be four inches long. And then I took four pieces of tape of my print color and put it on top of the sticky side up nine and a half inch by four inch piece of tape. And I stuck it to where there was three eighths of an inch so pretty much a half an inch um, sticky on the sides and fold it over the top and bottom sticky. So now you want to take the coin pouch that we made earlier and fold the side pieces together and make sure the top of the coin pouch is facing down and then place it on, line up the corners, and, and you want to make a slit at the top of the bottom expandable and fold over that and do the same to the other side. And then go ahead and push that down and then roll it over and do kind of the same thing you just did and cut a slit Cut a slit at the top of that piece, just like that, and fold that over and do the same to the other side. And now you want to just fold over the extra sticky on that on both of those sides, and then you want to take a Velcro dot. I'm using white and just put it in the center near the top of it fold it over and push that down as hard as you can and then voila you have your mini accordion wallet hope you enjoyed thanks for watching guys bye